it's Thomas from Wolfheart here in London, The Dome. Fantastic. And you're currently doing this tour with OG and Nofgaard. How have the shows been so far? Uh, really good. Insanely good. Uh, it's, uh, there's a funny background story. Uh, to all of this, uh, when we started, like how we started with uh, me, uh, me and Omnium Gatherum. Uh, apparently, I booked their first show outside their home town. Oh, wow. I, I think it's 15, 16, 17, who knows? Yeah. Long time ago. And, uh, and uh, that was where like, we both, me, their band, Omnium Gatherum, and before the dawn, had their first demos out. Oh, wow. So that is where I got to know Marcus, and that's yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. And being able to tour now with him, mm. <laughs> my beard is getting gray, his beard is getting gray, and <laughs> we are touring in the Europe. So it feels yeah. really good to be able to share the stage and to get to support them. They have been doing insane amount of work mm. with the band. And they have been able to get in a point yeah. where you are actually headlining, which is not a given thing. So it's just overall really cool. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. And prior to this, you had how many days off after the US tour? Six. <laughs> Six days just yeah. to recuperate? And no, decide. no. That's what, that what a wise man would do. Ah. You know, sleep a little, get organized for the next tour, do some laundry. Uh, if you are dumbass like me, you have a van waiting at the, waiting at the airport with your, all your working gear, you go straight to the work inside from the airport. With the shittiest jet lag ever, and then you, oh. yeah, that wow. was yeah. So I then I just I, I was working straight days like uh, until the departure for this tour. Then on the way to the airport, I just bought package of underwears and socks. That was my only packing wow. and re getting ready for the tour. So, wow, yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. That is stupid. <laughs> just I, I noticed when when we started the tour, I really felt like ah, oh, why did not take like one day off? Yeah. Just 24 hours of sleeping, but uh, now I know. <laughs> now you know for next yeah. time. So how much time do you have off of after this tour before the next one? Is it a bit longer? Uh, three days. But it's a Finnish tour. In Finland, we tour uh, only uh, by playing weekends. Oh, right. So it's going to be easier. We're going to be weeks at home and just yeah. weekends. So. Oh, it's not too bad then. Excellent. And obviously, it was the U.S. tour with Carhangren and Morris Prince of Est, yes. if I'm right. How was that tour? Because it that was also, Canada as well. That was also insanely cool. Uh, we've been really lucky to be able to tour with really cool bands. Mm. Not just the bands that I would appreciate yeah. musically, but the guys are really good. Because mm. you hear the stories. There are certain bands, yeah. not going to drop any names now, but some bands don't, deal, uh, don't treat the warm-up bands that well. Yeah. And we've been just really lucky to be on a tour where the headliner doesn't really underline the headliner status at all. Mm. And uh, also, I, I know more Principium S guys since my, one of my projects called uh, Bone Grinder back in the days. Oh, wow. Yeah, we did a tour with them uh, supporting this member, and it's, it's more than 10 years ago. Wow. So it's really cool to, you know, be mm. able to, you know, get to tour with the bands that you already knew when they were just mm. coming to the scene and now touring in US or Europe. Yeah. So it's, that was also... Oh, excellent. It's excellent. good times. It's good times. Getting the tour, good tours lining up and so, yeah. Fantastic. And the States as well again after Japan, is that right? <laughs> there, might, yeah, there might be coming, yeah, something that I can't talk more about it, but yeah. No, that's fine. Stuff is happening. We are going yeah. to places, which is cool. Everything, all the steps that we've been taking with the, with the contract uh, side, like the Continents on concerts, hard impact management, and the Napalm Records. It's a really efficient team. And the good thing is, like, all of those separate companies and agencies have been working together already with different yeah. bands. So it's, it, you always, when you introduce new yeah. partners, you might not get along, or there yeah. might be some, you know, glitches in the machine, but it's been going really well, and they have a really good plan, which they are... And now, first, first time ever, I can just focus on... My biggest challenge yeah. is wake up in time, in the bus, <laughs> tune my guitar, be in stage at time. Wow. And usually I had to do all the like the media management. I was even yeah. doing a, a, I was even working as a tour manager while we wow. were touring. Like the latest wow. Swallow the Sun tour we, where we played, I yeah. was a tour manager also. So all the tours seemed really yeah. complicated because there were so many things on the list mm -hmm. that you need to get done and be careful. Now, now I just 
be a musician, which is <laughs> it's, it's really cool. Oh, so, what's this? What's your spare guitar for this tour? Because I noticed in some of the videos from the US tour that you were using, was it an ESP you were using? When yeah. your main ampli sound decided to pack in. Yeah. And now I have a sector. Oh. Uh, I brought it that because uh, we need a seven string guitar for the uh, solo guitar stores. All oh, right. So it was uh, like a, to me, it, it, it sucks anyway. Yeah. No matter what the spare guitar is. So mm. now it happens to be sector that sucks. Yeah. It used <laughs> to be ESP that sucked because I yeah. really want to play with my own guitar. Yeah. But uh, I use really thick strings, it's like 75 is the mm. thickest one. And I play a little bit too hard. Yeah. And see, I, our music is not really made for the strings that have been manufacturers uh, mm. at the moment because those eight guitar I use like a eight string guitar strings that's the yeah. only way I can get the thickest mm. the bottom string is possible and that is meant for like this dense yeah. kind of music not like continuously heavy and fast picking like yeah. because we use that tuning and those baritone guitars mm. for more like black metal approach yeah and I break strings really easily mm. in, in a good if things would go really well, I may, may, may be able to play two shows in a row yeah. with one set of strings. We can actually, we are now that mentioned, let's try it out tonight. Yeah. I changed the strings yesterday, played one show, now did a sound check, let's see, do they let's actually make they it? Let's see if they Let's see how much it might suck when I play the sector again, maybe. <laughs> you, you can see it from my face when I take yeah. the other guitar. Like, like, oh, <laughs> not this one. It's a, it's a good guitar. But when yeah. you get to use it, it's like, a, I, don't, I don't collect guitars. I only have one guitar at home yeah. because that's the guitar I want to play. And when you mm. grow into the guitar, yeah. then everything else, it's not a quality issue. It's just small things are different and yeah. then that just bothers you, especially when mm. you are playing in front of the audience. So. Yeah. Schecter is a good guitar. ESP is a good guitar. But it's not your guitar. It's not my guitar. <laughs> not, your guitar, not your guitar That's from Ampli Sound. Yeah, that is a good point. Yeah. So what's one thing you can't tour without and you can't say your guitar? Oh, I'm really easy going, mm. like super easy going. Yeah. Well, the stage clothing are different thing also. Yeah. Because that pretty much comes along with all the rest of the gear. Mm. I could play with on the t-shirt it would just look funny yeah. the other guys are wearing something else but I, I don't think I will, I will, I will cell phone but yeah. I think that just comes along yeah I would need to have my cell phone and laptop because I do occasionally work and now I'm mm. doing a live video for North card oh, right. so I'm kind of like yeah keeping myself busy and uh, related to some something else since sleeping and waiting mm. and sitting around so I, I would say laptop and phone oh excellent Excellent. And you were going to release a video for Valkyrie, is that right? But it never got made because... It's been made. It's been made, it's, but it's, it's never been, been released. It, yeah, it's, uh, we are missing help. Thing yeah. is, like, uh, we already mentioned things working well with the Napalm mm. and the uh, Continental Radiant, but things are creating a lot of, like, positive problems. There are yeah. so many things now confirmed for the next year that I'm not mm. allowed to talk. That is changing the plans with the videos yeah. now we are doing two videos still wow because we there's going to be a lot of things happening also in yeah. the winter early spring before the summer during the summer so mm. label and the management wants to have something yeah. coming up from the album also at that point so we're going to shoot the video for valkyrie when we go back to finland in december mm -hmm. and there's going to be a fourth one also coming so. oh wow oh excellent so, and more more is happening and the more tricky the schedules are becoming for me yeah. to be able to make them and I now need to stress the deadlines and yeah because I don't want to also like um, drop the quality now no that's right it's sort of a trademark I hope yeah the moment that when we release a video it's uh, at High least it's quality, quality. Yeah. maybe you don't like pulling teeth kind of themes and you were expecting <laughs> to see some cool sceneries and that yeah. did it happen with the latest video but still I, I i'm really picky like that the quality needs to be quite high yeah so releasing a shitty video now just because we are in a hurry yeah. would be a really stupid decision yeah if you were to ever play a song from the back catalog be that a before the dawn track black Aeon, or any of the other bands with wolf Heart, 
You could recreate it, you know, you could rewrite it, do whatever you want with it. Which one would you pick if you, if you had to I, pick one? I'm fully prepared for this answer. I'm completely prepared uh, because I've been thinking that. Yeah. There's, there are a few songs that I would like to play with, uh, with Wolfhard. Uh, Throne of Ice. Yep. Because that is basically the first Wolfhard song. When I wrote yeah. that song, I already know, like, oh, this, this is how I want to continue mm. with the next band because I, at that point, I already know it's going to be the last before the Don yeah. album. So that was a stepping stone mm. for the next, which would uh, later become Wolfhard. Uh, I would really want to play a Finnish song called Soturi oh. from, from Rauta Sielu. Yes. That would fit really well. It would mm. fit the theme. It would fit the... It would be. I don't. I don't think uh, Jonas is gonna be with me in any of these <laughs> ideas. Uh, Brothers from Black Sun Ian would fit mm. really well. So there would be oh, many yes. songs. There are a lot of songs that I do miss. Yeah. On the, I don't miss the bands. No. In a way, and those times. Yeah. Were cool. The times are really cool. I don't miss the running the bands anymore. Yeah. But there are songs I would still like to play. Mm. So those two would be my first choices. And if you had to, say if you're going on a tour and there were no members available, would you ever use members which you previously worked with in like Before the Dawn or Black Sinaion or some of the other bands? Or would you want to use people you've maybe never worked with before? Mm, interesting question. We've been thinking about that issue inside the band quite much mm. lately. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me, like, have I been working with them previously or not or yeah. It's just if you get along, you s share the same vision, and the yeah. musicianship is there. Mm. That's the main thing. Well, we're gonna be go back to US, which will be announced at some point, <laughs> and uh, we already like uh, confirmed the guitar player from US. Mm. So there's gonna be a guy I never played with. Oh wow! It's a guy I met when we were touring there, but yeah. still. So yeah, oh, I nice. the the range is quite wide. Mm. What merch have you got tonight? Is it the tree with the wolf design, or is it some of the other ones? We have that also. Then we have this new coat of arms. Oh, nice. Kind of like a, not like a new logo, but something yeah. like that. Now we have hoodies. We have our uh, actually first ever white t-shirt. Oh, wow. Which we thought it's going to be risky. We took like a, a little bit too small print in the beginning, yeah. and it's, it's selling out constantly. Wow. Everybody wants a white shirt. Go <laughs> figure. Wow. I guess everyone got bored of the black shirts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excellent. Do you just make the designs yourself, or do you have someone that designs them? I, well, the same graphic guy who does my album covers. That's the, oh, right. But uh, he doesn't get very long leash. Ah, I see. So I, I usually I have a vision, but I don't have any graphical skills. Yeah. And, it, and he has a good vision, so, so he always adds something on his own and yeah. makes propositions. And when you work with the real professionals in different fields, mm. even though if you tell them, I want it this and this and this, yeah. they probably they will have some suggestion like, what if, what if we do it like this? And then you realize, okay, that looks better. Yeah. Or you get an additional idea. So it's mm. always like a conversation, but, uh, but really rarely it happens that you know he just gives me a design. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I always need to <laughs> complain yeah. or get picky about something. Oh, excellent. Well, I think that's everything. So it's been a pleasure to catch up with you, Thomas. I look like, forward to our next like meeting. Like always. Thank you.